Hey, what's up, YouTubers? Uh, this is DinoDill9, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix a couple issues that came up in the newest version 0.638b. Uh, I noticed that on the Windows 7, a couple of people have been complaining that the monitor capture and the window capture, mostly the monitor, but some, you know, some of the people have been complaining about the window capture, is not working correctly. I would show you guys that, but I'm also recording with the same thing. So, <laughs> can't exactly do that. But if you are having this issue, you know what I'm talking about. Um, the reason why I'm not showing my background, because this is just an actual picture that I have up, some I drew, is because of the fact is I keep all of my things I'm supposed to do for YouTube, for my game development and all that, and I don't want that to be leaked too early. So, yeah organized person by day chronic masturbator by night but let's get on with all these issues that we could possibly have sorry about having to look into the infinite abyss but you're going to want to use game capture because whenever you go into this and go over to properties it already has monitor capture right into it there's also no point in using monitor capture uh with game with the fact that you can do this with game capture because game capture usually holds at a steady 30 fps or higher matters what you set it to i only keep it at 30 but with the monitor capture, I noticed that it was only sticking to 20, yet it's capturing the same exact thing. So, yeah. Um, but that's to fix that issue. And to go on to some other issues that I guess that we could fix is, um, well, not really issues, but I'm just going to show you how to use OBS. Now, you're going to want to go ahead and pick your language, of course. Uh, the starting profile, we'll get into that a little bit later. Uh, cursor over projector, if that's what you want, allows you to have your cursor over the projector. <laughs> Show uh, log window on OBS launch. Mm, that's up to you. It's it, it tells you a couple different things. Notification. I mean, uh, minimize the notification area, which is just the you know, um, what is it? <laughs> that area. But anyways, we're gonna go over to encoding here. Now. If you're going to be doing streaming or YouTubing, uh, YouTubing, the max bit rate really, d the buffer size kind of matters, but you can set it to whatever really you want to do, um, whatever you think your computer can handle. As you can see, go over to speedtest.net, and they s recommend not going over 3,500. I've heard people say that they can't stand 3,500. Uh, but for YouTube, it's recording, and you shouldn't come with too many options. I mean, too many, you know, problems. If you are noticing any problems, go ahead and raise it. And if for some reason why raising it doesn't work, because raising it should help, uh, then I guess lower it. And uh, I'll explain these. If you do have a NVIDIA card, I recommend using this. But, and Quick Sync was for uh, some other type of cards. It'll tell you right here. Intel graphics cards, I recommend using that. If they give you the option, it's probably the best. Best, the best, best, whatever. Um, but the reason why I'm not using that is because I'm not doing any hardcore games right now. Next game I'm getting is Pokemon, so, <laughs> you know. Um, use CBR is, I'd keep that enabled, and uh, CBR uh, padding. Use custom buffer size. Um... If you're encoding, if you're getting a little encoding error, do that and then set it higher. But uh, you might also have to set that lower, but I recommend just letting it do its own thing or keeping it at 5,000. Um, of course, my key is blanked out for you guys. and you know, <laughs> Yeah, but that's where you'd put your key in. To get your key, you're going to want to head over to um, Twitch. What was it? Twitch broadcasting or something there. You can get your key from there. Just head over to Twitch. Just type in how to get my stream key from Twitch on Google, Bing, whatever you use. And yeah, uh, there's live streaming and other different modes. And um, this is where you'll save it. And you. <clears throat> Sorry, anyways, um, it's going to do this and this. And then this is what it's going to name it. <laughs> I haven't switched it forever because I like to rename after I do the videos. Um. And yeah, literally, that's like three or four months ago. But you're going to name it right here, and then just go ahead and keep MP4, because that's the format it saves in. Um, replay buffer files, that's where that's going to save in at. Um, minimize network impact, that is for, well, you know, it minimizes that to its best possible by your settings. So if you want to go ahead and put that on, go ahead, but it can also mess a little bit with your... Um, 
what is it, resolution, I guess, how good the graphics are. Automatically see, uh, save stream files that's recording at the same time as streaming can slow things down. I don't like to do that, uh, especially how Twitch saves your files. Keep recording if live stream stops. That does that. <laughs> um, you can delay it, auto reconnect timeout if it times out for some reason. Um, videos, here's my graphics card. I'm getting a new one here soon. Uh, really, you only need it at this. So if you're having any issues, just downscale it. Uh, but, um, you know, it always looks better at 1080, so I go and use that. But if you have the computer to handle it, go ahead. Keep this at 1920, 1080. If you want it to, you know, not take as much from your system, turn this down. If you want the video, what it's going to record and play back in, use this. Do not use this. Keep this set to, you know, what your resolution is. You should probably know what your resolution is, especially if you're a gamer or, um going to be getting into streaming and all that. I'm pretty sure there's probably a way to get into it. Really, you can go to here at your start menu and find out everything. I think all you have to do is put in resolution. But, um, yeah. Or you can even select your monitor, but that can slow things down. And then your aspect ratio. Most people's are either 16.9 or 16.10, but it matters if you're using a laptop or a smaller monitor. Um, Arial, it helps speed things up, but it kind of reduces the color um, back to like old window schemes. Did I say did I say it right? I don't know. Whatever. Um, but you know it'll. Can I just turn that on and apply it so I can show you guys real quick? Uh, I don't really want to mess with the stream. But anyways, it'll turn this like a gray color, and it's really good for if you are going to do monitor capturing, because uh, it doesn't work as good on Windows 7. And that's the only one I've been noticing the problem with is Windows 7. Uh, Windows 8 should be fine, but. You don't even need that in the first place unless it's running kind of slow. No. <laughs> um, audio, desktop audio, keep that to default unless you have something that it wa you want it to pick up other than that. Microphone, you can keep to default because it should pick up your microphone. But you can go ahead and pick it too. Um, force microphone, auxiliary to mono. It's really if you want that. Um, show only connected devices, I recommend that because... You know, you don't want something, you don't want to have to go through a list of things that aren't on. Uh, you can do push to talk, millisecond delays, desktop boost. Uh, don't do these unless you you really want to boost up the sound. Um, hotkeys, here's hotkeys, start stream, F level stop, you know. They're going to be, I think, none for all of them, but go ahead and pick whatever you want. And then there can be a push to talk, so you'd like press the button, and uh, I believe you'd you'd hold it. No, no, no. You press it and you start talking and when you want it to mute, you can press the other button. Most mics should have mutes on them by themselves though, but uh, whatever. Um, I recommend doing this. Keep the processor um, at high. You can also go into your control panel and switch it to high. That's complicated, more complicated, but it's, uh, it's not better either, so just keep that to high so it, it makes sure it's you know a high processing priority if you keep it low it's going to be like well it's not important um scene buffering time go ahead and keep that around seven seven hundred milliseconds um disable encoding while previewing i recommend keeping this not checked just so you can have your 100 percent know what's going on allow other modifiers on hotkeys that lets it like let's say your f12 is also take a screenshot on Steam, um, it's going to take a screenshot and, you know, stop the stream, whatever you had your hotkey to. Keep this to very fast, um, even if you can handle it more, it doesn't really affect too much. Um, and then if you're using the video or the Intel option, uh, I forgot what they were called, I don't think this is going to show up, so it does it automatically. Encoding profile, keep it your main. Uh, use CFR, I recommend that. Um, keyframe, um, interval seconds keep that to two it just it works a lot better you know but um allows 61 to 120 FPS you don't really need that at all that I've never heard of any videos really being able to go up that high and even if they have I know it doesn't make it look much better at all um, force desktop audio to use video timestamps that's if you want timestamps and all that Use mic uh, QPC timestamps if you want uh, mic timestamps. Uh, automatic low latency mode. Do not recommend that, but you know it can kind of speed things up. But it you know messes with the graphics and all that. Bind to interface. Um, yeah, I keep that to default. 
Let's see what my quick sync encoder is. Uh, you don't really need to mess with that, but you know, try to keep it more mine. Cause mine, I never have any issues anymore. I used to. And then you know, you can have your microphone noise gate testing out your microphone. These are decibels. If you don't know what decibels are, um, it's you know pretty much louder of music. The volume, not you know pitch. Um, but you can kind of increase it. What was the human can't handle? I believe that we can handle 120, but maybe 140 is too much. That'll, like, kill us or something, but I, this doesn't go up that high. Um, but, you know, you can you can just mess with this if you're not being loud enough or you're too loud. Um, let's see. I believe that's about it. Or you can actually just copy mine, and then after, after you mess with everything, you know, head back over here, and then you can add, rename, remove. Uh, I've been re recording for 10 minutes. Hopefully I helped you guys. Like I said, I don't know a whole bunch about recording and streaming, but if you do everything near mine, then it should be perfect. And then if you don't have an elite gaming PC like mine, then just lower pretty much everything that I explained to you to lower, um, especially the FPS of the graphics. I can record at 60 FPS with no problem, but uh, YouTube, I believe, as of what I heard, it still only does 30 FPS recording. I heard that they might upgrade that, update it, you know, whatever. If they don't, you know, that kind of sucks. I do like more FPS. But 30 F FPS doesn't look bad at all. I like a lot of videos on YouTube, and I'm not really looking for detail unless I'm buying the game and playing it myself. Um, however, you know, yeah, that just, I guess it's a personal opinion. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. That should help you guys with most of your issues or problems with OBS. And um, especially with the beginning thing I mentioned, I'm rambling on, sorry. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Check out my cool thing I made. It's sweet. It's so cool. <laughs> um, but yeah, see you guys later.